In 2007, Doctor Who showrunner Russell T Davies received an intriguing email from Benjamin Cook, a writer for the Doctor Who magazine. Cook had a straightforward request. He wanted Davies to contribute an article detailing his writing process for the show. What started as a simple request for a magazine article blossomed into a much larger project. This collaboration eventually resulted in the publication of a comprehensive book titled Doctor Who, The Writer's Tale. The book is a treasure trove for fans and aspiring writers alike, offering an in-depth look at the creative mind behind one of television's most iconic series. It reveals a wealth of behind-the-scenes secrets, providing a glimpse into the production and writing challenges faced by Davies and his team. The detailed monologues captured Davies' thought process as he navigated the complex narrative and character development that Doctor Who is known for. The writer's tale serves as a time capsule, offering a sneak peek into the development of season 4. It includes insights into the storyline and the character arcs, highlighting the introduction of a new companion, Penny Carter, who was set to join the Doctor on his adventures. Series 4, Episode 1, The Original Concept Russell T. Davies' initial concept for the opening episode of Series 4 of Doctor Who was a thrilling and imaginative story that would have set an entirely different tone for the season. In this original narrative, the Doctor finds himself drawn to London by reports of strange carnivorous creatures appearing throughout the city. This eventually leads him to a new companion, Penny Carter, who becomes embroiled in the mystery. The creatures, called Vorlachs, hmm, I wonder if we'll ever see them. They're terrifying beings, making their way to London through a mysterious portal situated in an abandoned building. The Doctor's curiosity and sense of duty compel him to investigate further, taking Penny along for the ride. As they pass through the portal, they are transported to a distant alien planet that is infested by the Vorlachs. On this desolate and dangerous planet, the Doctor uncovers the trouble and truth. The planet's elders, in a desperate bid to save their own people, had deliberately opened a portal to send the Vorlachs to another world. Their intention was to alleviate the suffering and overpopulation caused by these creatures on their own planet by transferring their problem elsewhere. So nice of them. The Doctor is appalled by the Elders' actions, realising their solution to their own predicament is causing untold suffering on Earth. His sense of justice and morality is deeply offended by their willingness to inflict their misfortune onto innocent others. In a dramatic climax, the Doctor decides to seal the portal, cutting off the Vorlax from Earth and condemning the planet's inhabitants to deal with the consequences of their actions. In the very early stages of Season 4's development, Penny Carter was designed to possess a blend of intelligence, wit and sass capable of engaging in banter that could match the Doctor's quick wit. Hailing from a suburban neighbourhood in the north of England, Davies initially conceived Penny as a journalist, drawing inspiration from the successful character of Sarah Jane Smith. Penny's character was crafted to be deeply intrigued by social and political events, with her naturally inquisitive and probing nature playing a significant role in the initial script for the Centauran stratagem. RTD eloquently characterised Martha's relationship with the Doctor as the perfect unrequited love story a narrative arc that resonated deeply with fans. However, with the introduction of Penny as a potential companion, the timing was right for a different dynamic to unfold. Penny would have stepped into the Doctor's life after a significant year-long gap, poised to reignite the flames of love within both his hearts. Yeah, um, I think I can speak for everyone, but we did not want this to be part of the story arc. Introducing another romantic interest for the Doctor so soon after Martha's departure would not have only felt repetitive, but also risk diminishing the significance of Rose. It would have deprived fans of the fantastic reunion between the Doctor and Rose in the Stone Earth, a moment that left Hovians on the edge of their seats with its very unexpected cliffhanger. Season 4, Episode 1, The Rewritten Concept Despite the potential for a gripping and morally complex episode had things never changed, RTD ultimately decided to abandon this storyline. He felt that it might not have the right tone to kick off the new series, and I have to agree with this. Instead, he decided to turn his creative energies towards a different idea. One that would blend humour with horror in a unique way. This new concept revolved around cosmetic injections that go horribly wrong, mutating people into grotesque forms. The new storyline involved a truly loved episode by myself. Partners in Crime, the actual first episode of Series 4. This introduced a different kind of episode idea, and once he found out Catherine Tate would be happy to return for a full series, they brought back Donna Noble. Penny Carter was still used from RTD's previous idea, and she was also written into this episode. She even got a bit of a backstory written for her, and I found this on the TARDIS wiki. This character was a journalist working as a science correspondent for The Observer. Driven by scepticism about adipose industries, the new diet pill, she began an investigation into the company. During her inquiry, she witnessed a bizarre creature made entirely of fat, an adipose. 
However, her attempts to gather evidence was halted at every turn by the tenth doctor, leaving her frustrated and resentful of his interference. In the years that followed, Penny often questioned her sanity, but eventually concluded that what she had seen was indeed alien. Despite this realisation, she chose not to share her experience publicly, fearing that people would think she was crazy. The shift from the darker, more intense concept involving the Vorlax to the quirky and inventive story of partners in crime highlights Davies' versatility and ability to adapt to his storytelling to fit the dynamic nature of Doctor Who. I really love delving into the back end of the Hooniverse and finding out stuff that could have been. In fact, I'm naming this playlist Doctor Who, What Could Have Been. If you have anything that you would like to see me dive into for this playlist, then please comment below. I'll be more than happy to at least look into it. Who knows? It could become a video recommended by you on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, to keep yourself within the Hooniverse, click this video right here, as it's always the best place to be.